Hello and welcome to this fourth installment of Flashpoint Campaign's Red Storm's tutorial scenario playthrough. <sighs> when we last were looking at this map, at the end of that command cycle, a company of T-80s had managed to penetrate the defenses around the bridges at Nordheim thus demonstrating the weakness of my deployment <clears throat> and uh, in particular I'm feeling pretty bad about having left that hex uncovered. I should have left perhaps this fellow here there instead of crossing the river. Um, right now I'm beginning to wonder if this bunch isn't going to shoot their way through and charge down this road leaving me uh, scrambling. So, before we get started though, let's take a look at a few things. Uh, right now we have eight orders available. Average ready to 77%, and there's 76% of our start forces available. We've kind of got hammered. This last little cycle or so was really hard. Um, I think I said in the last video that the MI-24s that were down in this vicinity had wandered off, but then I recalled that uh, visibility dropped significantly, so who knows where it is. I, we could be that we just can't see much past from this fellow. His limit sight's probably in this neighborhood. Uh, if I remember right, it was 2,000 meters. Um, take a look at the uh, C3 tab. Uh, our command cycle is dropping from 20 minutes to 17 minutes, but the Soviets have dropped from 22 to 13, so they're increasing the tempo of their operations. Um, Looking at the OB, I see some guys claim to be out of command. Uh, they are not outside of the command radius, so I'm not real sure what that means. It may have something to do with their general level of readiness. That guy is really hurting for ammo. He's, uh, and his readiness 31%, his readiness 39%, less than 25% readiness. The, these guys have taken a hammer. Uh, a lot of artillery been falling on them, and I've been sitting there just sucking it up. Uh, <clears throat> Yes, I know the uh, more experienced players, the smarter players out there are pointing and laughing right now, uh, if any of them are even bothering to watch. But there you go. I, I'm not real sure what that means. The same goes for this anti-tank, uh, these strikers, these uh, ATGM launchers. They clearly are not out of the command radius of their upper headquarters. Um that something's going on there, and off the top of my head, I'm not aware what that is. Uh, all in all, though, this is bad, so it may be related to that, may not be. What has changed is that we do have uh, a uh, section of uh, tornadoes available. Uh, actually, it's one tornado available for uh, an airstrike. Uh, which makes me feel better about the uh, air defense that died in this vicinity. Um, and our M109s are looking pretty good in terms of morale and readiness. Uh, that guy who's on counter battery actually has a boatload of ammo left. He's probably going to get have to go to work for us here in short order. Um, I don't think withdrawing after 179 minutes, okay, which is three hours. So we've got maybe 45 minutes of this guy still being on the on the board. Two or three. What was the command cycle again? And we got maybe three three command cycles. In the third command cycle, he will, if he survives, get out of there. All right. So enough chattering. Uh, there are more bad guys out there, we just can't see them. But right now, the immediate problem is that company of T-80s. There's not a lot we can do in short order with the units that are on the ground. Uh, 
these guys would take forever to start moving around. I'm about half tempted to grab this platoon and give him orders to move here. Uh, but I think this guy will charge past before then if he uh, if he has orders to do so. Uh, whether or not there's much left of the guys, uh, the British mech infantry in Nordheim when he leaves is yet to be seen. Um, really, what we have left is uh, these attack helicopters, um, the mortars, and uh, the striker in case he gets past, um, which may end up just being a victim before it's all said and done, especially if there's some follow-on uh, vehicles, if there's, if there's more tanks out there waiting. Um, <clears throat> but we do have artillery, and we do have an airstrike. And having not, I can recall, ever ordered an airstrike or artillery onto a position that was uh, occupied by uh, one of my units and a bad guy. I'm not real sure what would happen. Again, I've read through the rules recently, uh, but I'm not as young as I used to be, and perhaps I either missed or do not recall what the implications uh, or if there are, if there's any details in the rules about what might happen here. <clears throat> it seems to me that in a 500 meter hex, if I drop uh, uh, 155 millimeter um, improved conventional munition, try again, munitions strike, that uh, there's a fair chance that some of the uh, guys that I'm trying to save are going to uh, get hurt. But this is a desperate situation, and it's just bits and bites. Nobody is going to die in the uh, discovery of how this works. So I'm going to spend some time right up front on the fire support tab, and I'm going to grab that tornado, and I'm going to ask him to airstrike. Uh, in fact, let's see. Back up. Can I rotate that stack? Let's see how, how that works. Okay. Airstrike 10 T-80s. And hit enter. And now it's going to ask me, look, I'm going to get here at, in 10 minutes, 724, which tells me they very well may not arrive. They, they may not arrive in time. Uh, <clears throat> but it allows me a discretionary target radius of up to 2 uh, hexes. Looks like I can go to 3 or even 4. Well, then the question becomes, do I think this guy's going to be there, or do I want to open the option for other things, especially if he manages to move a couple of hexes away? I'm going to stick with two and hope that he chooses, well, hope, number one, the tanks are still there and haven't wandered down the road and been raising other hell, and, uh, and that the airstrike will uh, be productive and uh, maybe even leave some of our guys alive when it's all said and done. The other thing I'm going to do, this fellow right here is on counter battery uh, duty, and this fellow is on call. I'm going to put him on counter battery because his ammo situation is kind of pitiful. And this guy is going to get barrage orders. And what the heck, I'm going to ask for improved conventional musicians, and I'm going to ask for... Uh, a lot of them. Um, well, there's one strike. I could have up to three there, assuming that they don't run out of ammunition. Uh, that's apparently, I'm not sure if it's random, but you never know if there's one or more uh, strikes of that kind of specialty ammunition available every time you call for it may or may not be, you may not get all you ask for before it runs out. I should put it that way. So, one there. Now, do I drop some of this victory hex, wondering if he's meandered on, or do I continue to pound that one? I think I'm just going to hit it for one and hope it's going to strike in three minutes. With any luck, they'll still be there. And, uh, Bad things will uh, hopefully happen to uh, to the bad guys without uh, tearing up the good guys. So much judgment here. 
In the meantime, this fella has 87% morale. Let's smack him. And the regimental level mortars uh, of 80% ammo. We're going to fire them into here also. Uh, now, let's clear the uh, units off the map. That helicopter actually can see this side, but not in there. If I were to move him, where could it be that he might be able to see? Well, moving to that hillock there would give him fair visibility. And, hmm, looks like about, if that's a percentage, and I don't know if it is, 57, 58, looks to be about as good as it gets. Um, I'm going to give him orders. Let's get the news back up. I'm going to tell him to move deliberate to there. Also get him out of the way, the direct path of, uh, of them marching up the road. And screen orders. Um, hmm. Well, I have... Uh, Two orders left <clears throat> for the first time. I'm beginning to wonder if uh, I'm going to have enough. If I'm going to use all the orders. There's one challenger in there. He's doing a pretty good job of hiding. I think uh, we'll leave him alone. Um, he can see pretty well from there. Not so hot from there, at least, oops, at least not into the gap here. Now, I don't like throwing him directly in front of that. Uh, you know, I just don't think he'll get moving fast enough. I don't think it'll matter. And rather than having him come out of this dug-in posture, uh, I think we'll leave him there. In fact, I think what we'll do is give him resupply orders. Um, he's in pretty bad shape. They need some downtime. And right now, at least, there's no direct threat uh, coming down through the gap. All in all, this has gone from, hey, this is feeling pretty good to that company of T-80s uh, running the party. So, enough talk. Or is it enough talk? Well, let's call it good for now. Push the button and see what happens. Well, looks like the mech infantry are actually getting some payback there. Wow. Whoa. Five T-80s destroyed? Perhaps I overreacted. Nah, perhaps not. They're still killing guys. Um, yeah. Uh-oh. Well. Guess what? The game's over <clears throat> if we choose to end it now. Um, this is interesting. This is this is something that wasn't available in the game back uh, a year or so ago when I first got started. It, it One, you couldn't continue fighting. What's happened is uh, the enemy has suffered losses exceeding 70%. He's reorganizing on the battlefield. Uh, and it tells you what victory points you control and which ones they control. And victory point 3224, well, control is theirs, and 3513. So bottom line is we've got enough. If you take a look here, uh, let me see if we can find that hex that the tanks are in, the T-80s are in. Uh, there it is. 15 NATO units with 62 subunits within range. Effective unit influence is 3,001. Three Warsaw Pack units with 12 subunits from our effective influence is 170. So we've maintained control. Um, 
well, perhaps I'm unconsciously competent here uh, and having played the game more than a few times or this particular scenario more than a few times. Uh, you know, th this has been a fairly successful strategy, although in this case I, I really didn't execute as well as, uh, as I could have. Uh, right now it's saying NATO 80% rating tactical success of the game ends now. Um, about 15 minutes into this video, and I'd like to end it no later than 30 minutes, I think, just for fun, we'll, uh, we'll play out the rest of this turn and see what the artillery and airstrikes do, and, uh, and then just call it good. So, let's continue fighting. It's just, yeah, it, it, those those tanks in there is awkward, <laughs> but they're getting paid back. They're getting paid back hard. In fact, I'm feeling kind of foolish in my uh, well. Uh, there may not be anything there for an airstrike to hit. Airstrike still several minutes out. The T-80s have been significantly reduced. They're down. Three of them left. We lost sevens in the last four minutes. Of course, they have done more damage. Pause the game momentarily. I'm curious. Let's. Uh... 724, seven minutes to the airstrike, and any time now we ought to be seeing the artillery hit. Let's let it go. Here come the mortars. Well, no, no, no obvious effect. That's the graveyard of a battalion of mech infantry. There's the ICM. T-80 killed, and I'm making, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing like a little blue on blue action, maybe that's not the best damn idea in the world, huh? but uh, it was worth seeing just to, to, to find out uh, how the game would treat it, and yeah, it's probably in the rules somewhere, um, I think after all these years I'd have to read the manual. Helicopters making its move. T-80s are history. Uh, and counter battery over here. And one. Oh, we got something. Hasn't stopped them from. Yep. Yeah, okay. Because I set the radius to two, the nearest target was, well, that was interesting, more than two away, and that's the end of that resolution phase. So, how convenient, we're uh, over, let's, uh, it's done, I'm not going to play any further, let's take a look at the uh, reported kills. Um, 71 runners, six vehicles, units falling out, 13 kills. That's pretty rough. Uh, on the other side of the ledger, five reconnaissance, 40 tanks. That's, uh, that's a full battalion and a company probably attached to a mech infantry uh, battalion, maybe, I don't know. It looks to me like a better part 28 mech, that's a mechanized infantry battalion, give or take a couple, 28 mech infantry, um, two anti-tank, uh, six headquarters, 10 air defense, one self-propelled artillery, that was uh, maybe that last counter battery. In fact, you can see it's claimed by uh, 
one of the M109 units claims of self-propelled artillery. Um, nine transports, 135 total. Uh, staff summary says British player at 72%, 81% of all victory points. Um, and the way we read this, uh, da, 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 we got 81%, so 72% starting is 81%, and this table is... percent of victory points okay 81 so tactical success that's uh didn't change and no reason for it to have uh, no no victory points uh changed hands um this gives you a detail what the uh reported kills and claim chart says 15 starting three falling out two destroyed uh in a campaign scenario that'd be important those three followed up falling out uh, at least some percentage of them, depending on the amount of time between uh, one scenario and the next, uh, may be uh, available for use in the next scenario. Um, anyway, fascinating game. Uh, this tutorial, you know, I haven't been very thorough in explanation of what some of this stuff was and what I was doing God, doesn't really give you everything you would need to know to play one of the bigger scenarios you really get into issues of uh, uh, how to how to plan an hour and more out uh, and I don't want to get too deeply into that there's some techniques that I found work fairly well uh, for keeping guys moving um, the uh, the command delay can be really really brutal 30 minutes and more uh, so if you give a, a company a move orders and they they get where they're going at before the end of a, a, a command cycle and stop well, you issue them new orders and they may sit there another 30 40 minutes before they get them moving again well that really put a wrinkle in, uh, in in your plan if you need those guys to stay moving uh, in a future video we'll uh, we'll explore those things in the meantime uh, it's turned into me listening to myself talk here and uh, I think uh, uh, if you my uh, my my guests aren't bored listening to me uh, I certainly beginning to bore myself so let's call it a night Thank you for uh, for watching and be watching this channel. I will be uh, posting more uh, videos of this game and several others that I have uh, inhabiting uh, uh, spinning magnetic uh, storage here in my humble abode. Uh, and uh, so, good night and thank you again.